Hi, I'm Gearface, and welcome to the first Faithless Dream Progress Report. Thank you for your viewing, and I hope you enjoy this video. I have chapters down below, so if you just want to see the part, skip down to the time shown on screen. Without further ado, if you're still here, let me tell you about my upcoming level, Faithless Dream. What you're looking at, that's Faithless Dream, my up and coming solo, which is 3 minutes and 17 seconds long, aiming to be around Sonic Wave with difficulty and portray someone, a character, with a warped view of reality, journeying throughout the world and his mind. Speaking of their mind, that's where I come in, because for the pre-drop, I want to convey our fictional character's journey throughout their mind. So I want to mention this real quick. I've divided this video into three parts, each being called Mind, Eyes, and Ice, respectively. So, big problem. How do you decorate being in somebody's brain in Geometry Dash? Well, here's what I thought of. You suck! Yeah, I know. In all seriousness, plants! Plants were the backbone of how I thought of decorating the basic block deco and most of the background. Now what type of plant? Vines and roots. Going back to the brains thing, what do you think of when I say the word brain? For me, and probably a lot of others, you imagine, well, a brain. And one of the things that inspired this pre-drop were the wrinkles on the brain. So, in my train of thought, being inside the brain and going into thought, I thought that these viney, root-like structures and backgrounds would in some way resemble the little wrinkles you think of when you imagine the brain. One last thing I want to mention before we move on was the color palette, and I'll keep the section briefer than the part before. I opted with a black to gray scale, again trying to represent how our character is perverted, how even in the way he thinks it's messed up, viewing the beauties of the world as a cold, black and white, barren, empty, wasteland. So I want to mention this. After the pre-drop, we are going to enter the outside and how the character perceives the outside world around him, and this is going to tie in with the addition of eyes. When making this part, I wanted to do two things. I wanted to hit on the fact that you were in somebody's brain, and I also wanted to tie in going outside. Going on point one, I don't want people to have to look up what it's trying to do. I don't want to have you to go to a fandom wiki page about Faithless Dream to explain how the level's trying to operate. So, to hopefully at least eliminate a lot of other options of where you could be, the eyes help shape your perspective of where you are in the level. You're not in a garden, you're not on some planet, you're here. Moving on to point two, to tie in our timeline, the eyes appearing helps portray that somebody's awake and watching the player. These eyes, they're alive, and at first, you could discredit this with the fact that you're trying to put the players in a POV of a person not being watched by some monster, and at this point, the POV has not switched yet. We're not seeing the world, however we are going to switch to it, and how do you do that without seeming out of the blue? Eyes. Eyes and ice. Speaking of ice... We're in the end game here. So, what's the context? Why ice or snow? What does it mean? Well, the ice and snow is supposed to represent the distortion, the perverted view and mind of everything the character is thinking. Everything the character explores isn't actually an isolated frozen wasteland, but it's the real world. And that perception changes as the parts progress, as the level furthens till the end. But that's for another video, another preview. And why ice? Well, it kills plants. It hurts them. Again, in a way, tying back to my inspiration for this part. I do want to mention that, you know, the cold isn't just the only thing that hurts plants. And at the end of the day, it's just a personal preference that I felt fit the song best. So the eyes show us waking up. Why is the snow already there? Isn't that for the real world? And while being right, I thought I would also reinforce the fact that our character is waking up with the eyes earlier. I thought it'd be cool to 
have the cold move in to kind of like show the perspective shifting while you're already in the mind from being in the POV of his thoughts to being in the POV of the world around him. It also make the transition out of that pre-drop easier and more making sense. More, It makes sense more somewhat than if you were to just have it be completely normal and then immediately go to winter wonderland is what we'll call it. Now, these were the themes and ideas I had for this part, but at the end of the day, I'm not an experienced creator. I have one other solo, unrated, and it wasn't even started with the intent of being alone in the first place. So this, this is my first real attempt at making a level. The best it can be, start from finish. So I need your help. I make these previews, not for praise, but to show you what I'm making, and more importantly, for feedback. Nothing in this level is final. These videos are the ends of these parts being decorated. So if you have any ideas, please comment them. It could be the very thing that changes the level from okay to rateworthy. Anyhow, I've talked long enough. Here's what you came for. The preview, the pre-drop, and my work on Faithless Dream. Without further ado, enjoy your showcase. made it to the end. Before I end the video, if you like this video and want to reach out to me, I have a Discord server. I have a link below if you want to join, help me out in a way, or hell, just be part of the Gearface community. I want to host more events in there, just to have fun with friends and you all. So you could even make it in a video. And to clarify, it's free. You don't need to spend any you don't need to spend anything for any event or to join. Okay, at the end of the day, you want to server boosted or subscribed to the channel. And I don't want to put you behind any paywall or sub goal to have a good time. Though, server boosting helps all in the Gearface community, and subscribing helps you reach a larger audience. And we are in a sub, sub race with Seb UK, so if you like this video, I at least ask for you to consider subscribing. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And if you unsubscribe later, you still helped out, and I appreciate every day you were. But it's up to you. Now we're really at the end. And if you want to see my first solo, click on the video to the left. If you want to see progress on my new hardest, Tartarus, click to the right. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end, and I'll see you next video. Bye!